Hello and welcome back to VIP Tutorials. Um, in this particular lesson I'm going to focus on uh, special effects and digital photography. Uh, if you acquired one of our CDs you can just go ahead and navigate to our uh, folder and uh, open uh, the picture in special effects model special effects before. If not you can just open any any photograph that you want to uh, sort of play around with. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is focus on creating uh, let's say uh, uh, a digital makeup for the eye and then we're going to duplicate that eye and create actually three copies of that same eye um, and uh, at the same time we're going to blend that eye into the model's face so let's get started uh, the first thing we're going to do select the brush tool uh, let's go ahead and uh, pick some color let's say uh, purple in this case uh, using color mode uh, let's say color dodge is fine opacity of about 10% and let's go ahead and add some digital makeup to our model's uh, eye. Uh, to resize your brush, so make sure you use a fairly uh, a soft brush, so uh, a diameter of let's say 21 is pretty good uh, for uh, eye makeup. And let's let's make create even strokes right around the eye. Okay. Now. Um, Let's switch our brush to color burn, keeping the same keeping the same color. Let's go ahead and, and highlight the uh, uh, topmost part of uh, of the eye. And now we can go ahead and and uh, switch switch our color to something darker. Let's say going into the blue spectrum. Uh, and we're going to actually work on the bottom of the eye now. Let's go ahead and, and paint that area. Now we can take a snapshot and see see the difference. Um, this is when we started. This is when we added some um, sort of uh, futuristic digital makeup. Uh, and let's go ahead and, and uh, uh, work with the iris, uh, sticking with the same color that the model model's iris is. So green, we're going to click OK. Um, using blending mode, uh, color burn, and the opacity of 10%. Let's resize our brush using the bracket tool to match the size of the iris. And let's go ahead and click on the iris a couple of times. OK, and now let's switch our brush blending mode to color dodge. And we're going to actually make that eye pop out a little bit more. So click on the eye a couple times and you're going to see it, it really stands out from the photo. Um, now what we could do, we could uh, make duplicates of that eye. So we're going into uh, your toolbox, select lasso tool, and just make a rough selection around the eye. You don't really have to be super particular. Uh, okay. And now we're going to go into edit, copy, edit and paste. Now <clears throat> switching back to the free move tool you can see that we have a new layer after um, we pasted that eye and let's name that layer eye and let's go ahead and move it downwards okay so now we know that um, this eye actually the edges of that eye are obviously not blending in with our photo uh, so the best way to get rid of that uh, to blend them in is to use a eraser tool make sure you use a soft edge um, eraser tool um, of let's say 45 or 35 uh, pixels and let's go ahead and erase some of these edges that that are not really blending into the uh, into the photograph Okay, and then we can go. Uh, if you make a mistake, Control Z to undo, undo the previous step, and go back. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's let's go ahead and and resize that eye. So free transform tool or hold down Control on your keyboard, press T. Now let's make that eye a little bit smaller, and now we're going to actually rotate it a tiny bit. Now let's make another copy. So let's let's just go ahead and move it. Uh, you can move the um, any layer in your graphic by holding down Control key and the left mouse key. That will allow you to move uh, move any layer in the photograph. Let's right click, duplicate that layer, and we're gonna name that as our eye number two. And let's go ahead and move that down. 
and we're gonna actually use control T one more time to resize it holding down your shift key when you're moving the um, uh, sidebars uh, will allow to constrain the proportions so the eye doesn't get smaller or bigger uh, unevenly. Now once you're satisfied with the selection holding down control on your keyboard press enter and now we can we can go ahead and move that eye into position. Now I'll rotate it just a tiny bit. Same thing control T to free transform and rotate and now since we're pretty uh, I would say I'm pretty happy with the way it uh, it turned out. Uh, what we can do is um, go ahead and work on the on the top uh, eyebrow. So we'll select the background layer. Um, go ahead and change your color to um, black, and uh, go back to our brush. We're gonna make um, that eyebrow a little bit darker. So we're gonna use color burn, and let's go ahead and go over that eyebrow a couple of times so it stands out a little bit okay and now since we're I, I guess done with that where I'm gonna show you is how to merge all these layers together so let's hold down shift key on your keyboard click on all of these layers you're gonna see them being highlighted in blue now let's go into a layer merge layers okay and now all of these individual layers basically became one graphic now let's go ahead and and uh, uh, make a duplicate of that right hand side of the model's face. So select the rectangular marquee tool, go right through the center of the model's face. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and make sure that when we when we have the duplicate copy on the other side that they blend in together nicely. So in order to do that, let's go into select, modify, uh, feather, and I would s I would suggest some large radius, 25 pixels is fine. Let's go into edit, copy, edit, and paste, and now you're gonna see that we have um, the second side of our face uh, being copied over. So what we want to do, we want to actually take that and flip it horizontally going into edit transform flip horizontally and now let's use a free move tool to move that layer into into position okay just want to make sure that this stuff matches up and this is a fairly fairly easy way of uh, creating pretty neat uh, digital effects in your photographs. Um, if you enjoyed this lesson, please uh, feel free to uh, post your comments and stop by at VIP Tutorials for uh, more uh, Photoshop uh, tricks and techniques. Thank you again for watching.